Karen, understand your rights, sir. Uh, yes, I do. In court appointing counsel? Yes, I do. Is he eligible? Yes, Your Honor, it does appear that he is. Okay. His name correctly, Your Honor. <coughs> Way form arraignment indicates the birth date is correct. Also, ask for a reappearance within 30 days. Yes. You March 1st at 9 a.m. Mr. Markle, we'll see you then. Um, the question I asked her right off is, do you qualify for diversion? Do you understand why I asked that? Yes, I do. Okay, you understand then to, to an extent what a diversion is, right? Yes, and I was I kind of wanted to ask you about that. You're going to talk to your lawyer about that. Now, he may not be your lawyer, he might be. You're going to fly for counsel across the hall that direction. And call her office after 10 if you qualify tomorrow. Okay. Then to talk to that lawyer. Okay. Okay. The importance for you today, if you want to enter diversion, there's a cost to it. But if you're going to do that, you must have applied for it and have it approved by the court within 30 days of your payment. That's today, right? Okay. Now. So when you just ask for a time within 30 days, that means that's within 30 days you need to qualify for diversion at that point. The state is indicating they don't have any objection at this point. Uh, things can change, but. Usually they're right about that, okay? So just keep that in mind, and we'll see you on that date. Your lawyer should have the paperwork ready for you. Uh, there's, there's, there's fees, training, evaluation, et cetera, that's involved in that. It does avoid a conviction. Yes, I understand. It avoids the suspension. Uh, you might already be suspended for other reasons, but at least from the case, that would be a diversion. If you complete that, then there's no conviction at all, okay? Yes. Just a couple things else I need you to do. Hold on.